Hello, I'm Luke Torrex, and welcome to part 23 of my mercenary campaign on Rome Total War. Last time we advanced well against the Scipii, and we had a big fight uh, against them outside of Capua. And that means now that we have a force that is capable of taking the huge city that is the last Scipii settlement on the mainland, which is good. But as usual, there are public order issues, so we are going to have to move the capital back to Syracuse for a turn. Because these guys are now happy. Well, I say happy. They're happy enough. But, uh, yeah, now over in Sicily, they're unhappy. So we just have to constantly switch the capital around. Talking of this region of the world, we are advancing towards the Armenians. We probably... I don't know why we can move a little bit. Oh, no, we can't. We can't move further, don't worry. Yeah, we're advancing towards Camselani. Possibly the Parthians instead. It depends which target I want to choose. But yeah, we've done everything we can this turn, apart from move the capital. So they're going to move it back to Syracuse. I'm just... Yeah, we have to move back to Syracuse just for one turn. And then what's going to happen is everyone's going to be really unhappy over on this side of the map. But they're going to have to deal with it. As long as nobody is currently rioting, there shouldn't be any trouble. There isn't. There will be rioting. But we're going to have to sort of deal with it. It's not a lot we can do. We have to make sure these people are happy as well. So let's end the turn, see what happens, and see if we can take a settlement off the Scipii particularly. But yeah, a lot of unhappies indeed. This guy's moving up north. Not sure why, but whatever. And um, two Brutii diplomats outside of Art of Zarta. Fair enough. Uh, is that a Scipii army has come out to attack us? Okay. Right, that actually benefits us, I think. That's a poor decision from Scipii. Captain Quintus, the third Scipii army now that's attacked us outside of Capua. Uh, it is the remnants of the the twice, the two times that we've managed to defeat them already. Although they have managed to recruit a unit of legionary cavalry. So, that is slightly concerning. That's a decent unit, the Auxilia. The rest is the remnants of an army which has been severely battered. So, we should do fine. Saying that, our army has been severely battered as well. The, um... Only four units are the Samnites and the Generals. They're not even four units either. So we need to be careful, but I reckon we've got a good chance here. The strength ratio is about... It's five to four. So yeah, about one to one pretty much. So yeah, let's see how this goes. Right, here we are. We didn't quite reach the city gates uh, yet. That is why we are not being sallied against. In fact, we are on a, you know, decent little slope. Unfortunately, there's no farm or rock. I think that might have been the rock we hid behind, uh, we um, hide behind uh, two episodes ago. That might be the exact rock. I don't know where the farm is, and that looks <laughs> that looks like the farm over there. We have had this is the third battle we've had in this region. That's the farm we fought on in episode 22. This is the rock we fought on in 21. Now we're in between part 23 and. I mean, we could use the farm, but it's very close to Scipio's starting point, which concerns me. And I don't think it'll really be that helpful this time, but we'll see. We could back up behind the rock, but I think that, yeah, that's going to be just outside the zone, which is a shame. So what we're going to do, we're going to just start over here. Nice open battlefield, no rocks, no farms, and we're just going to do a nice one-on-one -on -one battle. That's hopefully what it'll be. So the front line's going to be Hoplites and Samnites. The Thracians won't be able to do anything. They just will stay at the back. Them routing just won't help anyone. So just like this, lads. Defensive mode. Stand your ground. You can be on the flank, just harassing troops as they come past. The same goes for you. You can be on the flank as well. Again, just harassing troops. And of course, in skirmish mode and run. Skirmish mode and run. And you can be in a loose formation, like so. Actually, you can be in a loose formation as well. Why not? There we go. So yeah, you guys are just kind of doing the same sort of job. Generals can stay at the sort of back slash side for a second. They're going to be flanking around. Cretans need to be protected by the front line. They aren't allowed to skirmish. They have to stand there, fire their, uh, stand their ground. Libyans, you can do a job of harassing on the sides. Running, of course. Four Rhodian slingers are pretty useless, but they can just be here anyway. And that's all we've got. That is all we've got. Oh no, there's one unit left. Oh yeah, the seven Thracians. Seven Thracians just come here. Pretty much useless. That is... That is the formation. Not the most tidy formation ever, but it hopefully will do the job. Move it forward slightly. And let's see how this goes. Okay, the Romans are advancing very quickly now. So these guys need to start getting forward and probably 
get in on that legionary cavalry. Start harassing them. Is what I want you to do. Just generally causing trouble for the Romans is the plan. There we go. There's the legionary cavalry. They've run into those guys. Right, where are the hoplites? Hoplites are sadly on the other side. So what I want, I want both the generals getting a good charge into the side of this cavalry. It's the most dangerous unit they've got. The Samnites are going to have to hold out for a second. You, come round here, come round here. Come round here. Legionary cavalry's good. No, 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 that's not what I said. Not what I said. Somebody's already routing of ours. Right, there we go. Surround the cavalry. With our own cavalry. Yeah, slight issues here. There we go, they're routing. Good. we now got a unit of auxilia, which is going to cause a bit of trouble. Now, they are light infantry. Still, right, okay, what I want, I want you to hold your ground again. No, 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 not all of you, not all of you. Okay, you, just the Samnites, hold your ground, carry on doing what you were doing, you did a good job. Generals, get back to the position you were in. All of you guys now focus on the auxilia. You already ran out of missiles. Terrible, terrible stuff. Okay, you guys focus on the auxilia. And yeah, the generals need to get back into the position they were in, which they are indeed doing. So yeah, legionary cavalry is down. They are routing is good. They've charged, right, a couple of units have charged in. So generals need to get around the side and help out. I think the Cretans are pretty much already gone. Auxilia unit just being chased around. Round here, one Scipio unit's broke. Let's try and get these legionary cohort down. That would be nice. A good route from them. We don't want to lose too many men. We still have to go and take the city, remember? Right, mass route. Whoa, mass route has occurred. Okay, that's really good. Now, I want you three units to focus not on these guys anymore, but on the auxilia. I want you now to start chasing troops off. You chase off those triarii. You can chase off those early legionary cohort. And you can chase off those prinkipeds. There's only two of them. Make sure nothing gets back to the city. If we do that, we can potentially take the city for our own. So, yeah, if, we, if we're quick enough. Sam Knights are charging the wrong way. Oh, no, actually not, are you? Where's the auxilia? Not sure. Oh, they're fighting. Right. The auxilia are shaking. You guys need to hurry up. Right. You need to get on those. Actually, no, you get, get a good charge on those auxilia quickly. Try and route them. There we go, right, stop for a second. The auxiliary are going down, let's get those legionary cohort down. So general, that's it, make sure nothing gets back to the city. Right, stop, stop for a second now, because you guys aren't doing anything. You need to make sure he doesn't get back to the city, that one legionary cohort. You need to make sure he doesn't get back to the city by doing that. Uh, you need to make sure he doesn't get back. Just make sure nobody gets back, and all of you guys, minus the general, need to make sure the auxilia don't get back. Otherwise, we are pretty much done here. Very, very solid victory. The Scipii routed incredibly quickly, like the cowards they are. And in fact, I think that means we might have the city now. We killed 96% of them. There's eight men left. I highly doubt they've made it back into Capua. Tactical mistake, because they had, they had a huge city. They had the walls on their side. For some reason, they decided to attack us in the field, which means, oh, we weren't besieging it, so we can't quite get over, and whoa, okay. Right then. Oh, that's annoying. Well, that is annoying. Lentilus Maxentius has stopped us from getting Capua. We need to back off now. Well, that's really annoying. We were just about to take Capua as well. Ah, hopefully next turn we can just try and find a way of getting Capua, but that's really frustrating. It's really frustrating that the, the actual Senate got in the way there clutch from the Senate, really clutch, that they managed to they managed to get there just in time. Okay, enemy army routes, yeah, town expands, where is this? This is Bostra, over in Africa, or the Middle East actually rather. Um, so you can have an upgrade to your city. Uh, before we do anything really, we need to move the capital back to Halicarnassus, because people are unhappy again. So Halicarnassus, you are now the capital of the Egyptian Empire. Like so. Yeah, everyone should now be a bit happier, which is good. Um, we'll sort out the general public order issues a bit later in the turn. Diplomacy-wise, yeah, trouble in general, but... Oh, that's annoying. That's annoying. Lentilus, Maxentius. I mean, literally, there's, like, basically no one in Capua. And we still couldn't get inside because of that general, Lentilus, Maxentius, who is 
I mean, if we could bribe Maxentius, I don't think you can even bribe the Senate armies. No, you can't. You cannot. You can't bribe them. Fair enough. You cannot bribe the Senate, which is... I would imagine you could in real life, but I don't know. I'm not an expert. What we need, we need the spy to get inside Kafwa. Please don't die. He died. Oh, 75% chance and he died. Are you serious? It's definite... Philippidos or whatever your name is, you're useless. Really, that's next level uselessness. Yes, Don't speak to that Jim. That's a Parthian. I swear there was a Germanian diplomat. I must have missed him. Once, well, that's annoying. Okay, well. Yes, ah, right, we now need to work out a way of defeating this Senate army. And this is all we've got. <laughs> it's this. Merge the troops up. We can't get to Capua, and the problem is, by the time we do get to Capua, they're probably going to reinforce it, which is a really, really frustrating thing. There's no one we can bring over from Tarentum, and Croton is only Herennius Catulus, which, if he steps outside, there's no mercenaries, so pretty useless. Well, Capua is kind of a non-factor. Now, Rome itself is barely garrisoned. Servius Maxentius is an old man, which is good for us. And then we have this army of Captain Herius. Now, potentially, Captain Herius could be bribed. And I think I've also seen where that Germanian diplomat is. So, first of all... Right, let's actually just work out what we want to do. Diplomat. That's the Germanian diplomat. Go and speak to him. Or Germanic, I should say. That's probably more like it. And what I'd like... I'd like map information. We haven't even got trade rights with the Germanians. So let's have a... Oops. No, no, no. Let's get off to a good start with the Germanians. That's a fair deal. Yep. And would you accept an alliance, Germania? Would you accept an alliance? Nope, you don't want an alliance with the strongest faction in the whole world. Fair enough. This is all Germania have. They've really been pushed out of what is now, well, Germany. Now, I wonder if we can bribe Captain Herius. That's something I want to look at next turn, but annoying. Annoying. The only thing we can do, if we could bribe Captain Herius, is go straight for Rome. That will draw him away from Capua, and it means Capua is a lot more vulnerable. It's the only option we have. We don't have any more armies here. Um, unless we could quickly try and get an army over from Carthage, which we could. Carthage is full to the brim with generals and all sorts, and we actually need to get some of them over anyway. Um, you have some mercenaries available. So get those mercenaries. And step on this ship. Like so. And then uh, we need one more general. Let's bring... Let's bring these two guys, and one more general, onto this boat, like so. You, right, you two can now enter the city. You enter the city, merge the troops, and this boat needs to basically be moving along, unless there's anyone from Thapsus that can help. These guys are useful. These guys are useful. Problem is, I can't move them away from Thapsus because public order. So we need to get some peasants in, so I can actually move these guys out. Get this stuff back on. Get an execution square. And then, yeah, start recruiting some peasants. And then what I want... I want these guys... First of all, merge them all up. I want some of these guys to be coming over. These cavalry, is, these cavalry are useful. Particularly. So start coming over here. Perhaps this isn't going to be happy. They're going to have to deal with it. Boat. Get over to Lily Byam. Like so. More mercenaries available. Good. Then the boat comes back. Collects these guys. And they'll be going back over to Sicily next turn. These guys are going to head towards Rome. At Prezio Gites. But he's going to pick up two good mercenaries on the way. So that's a decent little force. We are picking up indeed. So yeah. He can do that. That's going to be the plan. There's going to be public order issues over there. Over here. Nothing I can do about it I'm afraid. Otherwise I would. Um, what is this army doing exactly? Yeah, you're the absolute useless army that did absolutely nothing. Did, right, you actually head towards Dapsus, you're right. I was right the first time. Go towards Dapsus, like so. Now, the Armenians. Can we move any further against the Armenians? There's Campus Alani with only two garrison in. Did the, I don't think the general moved out. But either way, let's go. We can't move towards Campus Alani. Right, we need to kick this guy out of the way. Then move towards Campus Alani. It's now under siege. Get two rams. And there we go. Kamsalani is under siege. The second to last, as far as I can see, Armenian settlement, which is good. And you, uh, yeah, there's no crossing point here, so just start heading up north a little bit. Okay. Now, also, there was... Uh, there's a general over in... 
did he get... Ah, here he is. Yeah, here he is, indeed. Now, this general is going south towards Siwa, which is massively garrisoned. There's no mercenaries. Oh, there are mercenaries. He's going towards Siwa. And we are going to try and eventually take Siwa off the Numidians. It's got a huge, huge garrison in it. It's had a huge garrison since pretty much turn one. They really have been uh, reinforcing it well, as you can see here. Yeah. But eventually, we should have a big enough force to take it on. And it means that this sort of gap, this Numidian gap in our empire will hopefully be filled by some nice yellow which will be good so is there a huge amount more we can do probably not there's just a general public order issues i'm trying to you know repair all the buildings um construct as much as i can i mean let's get a what would help let's get a secret police hq in you know just try all the stuff to to get public order afloat but generally that there, there is trouble in the empire people aren't happy with us yet and that's just something they're gonna have to deal with for a while until we have the money or when we have the money it's just until we have the I don't know really it's just really that time heals and yeah okay right secret police HQ just get all the public order things in oh, I don't need that stuff but whatever there we go all that stuff all that good stuff I think we should end the turn because I don't think there's anything more we can do. The These guys are all happy. There's nowhere that's unhappy apart from Tarsus. Now, Tarsus is unhappy. Which isn't good. So, you need to repair this Pharaoh's palace. Get the public baths. The army itself needs merging. So, that these guys can get back in the city. And they're happy. Or happy enough, I should say. Anywhere else that is unhappy. Susa, But it's not revolting. So, it should be fine. I say that, it's not a good thing that they're unhappy though. Let's have a look at Sousa again. Where is it? Here we go. Sousa, um, yeah, isn't very happy indeed. So, we nearly got a secret police HQ. Okay, I think we're ready to end the turn. We're hopefully going to do something with the Romans. I'm slightly concerned that Lent Lentilus Maxentius is going to attack us, but we're going to have to do whatever we can. You know, yeah, it's not easy. We'll see, what, we'll see what happens. Let's end the turn. Okay. Turn is ended. It's interesting to see how the Senate... The Senate don't respond. Neither did the Scipii. But I can see that they've put more in Capua. We've been attacked. I forgot Cotes was even under siege. I forgot Cotes was under siege. Aura of Rhesus has basically nothing but his cataphracts. We have basically nothing at all, though. Right. Right, indeed. Okay, and we have... Captain Istofanet outside. Right, I'll see what I can do. There's not a lot around here at all. I'm concerned for the future of Cotes. I didn't really... I overlooked Cotes. Let's see what we can do. The key here is going to be destroying their infantry. Because we do that, the cataracts can't get in the city. It's irrelevant if they've got cataracts. They can't get in the city. So, they've only got one ram. If we destroy that one ram, then it's fine. But I doubt we'll be that lucky. What we need is to get their infantry down. This is a city. It's a big old city. It's not going to be easy for um, the Armenians to take, but it's a single unit of cataracts is so dangerous. It's ridiculous. So, we need to get the peasants just, just around here. The peasants around here. Don't need to be on the walls. Scythians, stay here for the moment. Start the battle. There's only peasants that are reinforced. It would be just peasants, wouldn't it? And peasants are coming from a long, long way over here, aren't they? Yeah. So start running in this direction, please. Now, the cataphracts are there, yeah. Well, we'll see what we can do. We'll see what we can do. We need to make sure they can't get in the city. If they get in the city, it's game over just because of the cataphracts. Peasants of all troops cannot stand up to cataphracts. If the ram gets destroyed, though, we've won. Yes, there we go, there we go. That's a very short battle. Very short battle. Peasants get inside the city and they're running off. They're running off. They can't do anything. They only brought one ram to the party. There we go. <laughs> the closest of close victories. One kill we got on them. One single kill. But that one kill was enough to defend the city because they didn't bring enough siege equipment. So hopefully the Armenians, well I say hopefully, hopefully for them, not for us, they will learn next time. They probably won't. But there we go. Bit of a mistake from the Armenians there. Uh, big navy has been attacked. Oh, this one here. The Brutia have expanded as far as Byzantium. That's not good news for us at all. Because it means we might have to start defending Turkey. So that's a slight concern. 
a huge, huge Julius, uh, Julii army of Numerius the Lude has come over. That we cannot take down at all. Huge amount of public order stuff has been constructed, so hopefully that will help. And diplomacy-wise, the Germanians hate everyone. Fine. Right. You're still standing here, which is annoying, but yes, what about you, Captain Harrius? Are you wanting to... You can be bribed. You can be bribed, but have we got enough money? No. We have not got enough money to bribe them. Which is annoying, because this army is not big enough, but it would be big enough to take Rome if that army was out of the way. But we just don't have enough money, so... That's just the situation there. I could drum up a bit more money, but they won't speak to us now anyways. It's kind of irrelevant. And now Capua is way, way more defended, which is annoying. I can't get over to Rome because Numerius Elude is there. So in general, things aren't looking good. Essentially. Do Tarentum have any sort of... I think we just fall back to... Oh, do we fall back to Tarentum? No. Right, some of us need to fall back. Nah, no, 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 no. I'm gonna make a decision. Go here. Go here. We are we are staying here. We're gonna stand resolute. This guy needs to get over to Italy as quickly as possible. So boat round here. Like so you onto boat. Boat travels to Italy. Like so. Um, there's probably no point in travelling towards Capua, but we'll just get it like there. Okay, now, this, uh, we're under, we're under a naval siege here. This army, though, is heading over towards Italy. Don't bother about going to Sicily, just go straight for Italy. There we go. This, that's a decent force. Should, it could be able to take out Rome. If we attack Captain Herius, it's going to draw Maxentius back. We can possibly take Capua, although it's starting to get more reinforced. But either way, yeah... It's annoying the Senate got involved, but that's what they do, isn't it? They get involved. Uh, talking of stuff, we need to get Syracuse back as the capital because it needs to change every turn due to public order, so there we go. No way, Lily Byam's still upset and it's right next to the capital. My goodness, okay, they really aren't happy. They really are not happy. Merge the peasants. Just a few more peasants and you're happy, please. Go on. Yes, turn blue, good enough. A lot of stuff that needs repairing. It's just how it is. Yeah, okay. The public order is going to be bad over here now. But they're not writing, so not too much of an issue. That's all we can do in Italy until those boats get over. That's all we can do. There's, it's frustrating. It's very frustrating, but it's all we can do. Croton has a general in it. Are there any mercenaries, though? There are not. So we head back inside Croton. And then this general, who's coming down to eventually deal with the Numidians, you step onto Numidian territory and see if there's any mercenaries, which there aren't. But either way, you're going to sort of be hanging around here for a while. You aren't going to be able to attack Siwa yet. But soon, you might be able to. It sort of depends. We need a spy, maybe, at some point. Um, we'll see. Now, as for the Armenians, well, Cap uh, Campus Alani has just the general and the archers. Now, the general's going to be difficult to deal with. He's very old. Meaning if he dies, it, we've got a straight run to the city. I'm wondering if we ought to resolve it, it might, oops, it might be a little bit easier. Just because fighting cataracts in battle is incredibly difficult. But in order to resolve, it might benefit us a bit more. So let's assault the city and have a look at the, yeah, right, okay. It is in our favour, it's just annoying. If it was just that archer, it'd be easy. But 45 cataracts, that's not easy to deal with at all. And I don't want to lose many troops. So I'm, I do, I do wonder if water resolve is the is the best way. I'll give it a go. Clear victory. Okay, 67 to 57. It, it, there's enough to take the city here. Yeah? It is just about. Okay, Camselani is indeed ours. Uh, do we want to exterminate them? Honestly, yeah, I cannot be asked to deal with peasant Armenians. It's fine. That is a big bit of our uh, empire, and that is ours now, which is good. Campus Alani can have a tax reduction. The walls can be repaired. You can get a sewer. Because public order issues here as well. <laughs> Nowhere is exempt from public order issues, it would seem. And then retrain the troops. Right, merge the troops that got damaged. Retrain these ones. Recruit some peasants. Because we are now probably going to move on to the Parthians. Maybe we'll just finish off the Armenians. Because they do indeed have this territory up here of the Sarmatian lands. Now... Is that all we can do? I think it is. I genuinely think it is. Uh, unfortunately, 
we have trouble in the sense that the, the Senate got involved. Otherwise, we would have Capua right now. But the Senate got involved just at the right time for the Romans, just at the wrong time for me. I'll end the turn, see how the Romans respond, and then we'll choose our, our targets from there. Okay, how do the Romans respond? You're continuing, or continuing rather, to move up to Thapsus. Bruti want to talk to Artazata, but they aren't actually doing a lot. Both <laughs> diplomats are giving it a go. Uh, the Senate do not move away from Kappa, which is annoying, but the Julii did seem to. Numidians attack Thapsus. And rebels again attack this boat, which is not good. Clear victory, though, still. Writing in Campsolani, I mean, really, we've only just taken the place. Rhodes is writing, writing in Pergamum, writing in Sardis, writing in Numantia, writing in S Sinope, writing in Tarsus, writing in Mazakar, writing in Petra, writing in Antioch, writing in Sidon, writing in Salamis, and in Thebes, and in Alexandria, and Tarentum's been bribed. Oh my goodness. Right, oh, this is odd. Okay, this is odd. Tarentum has been bribed. But, they have no garrison. Which is odd for them to do that. We basically just need to get one guy over and it's back, it's back in our hands. They've bribed us for no reason. Because we can literally just get these... We can get the, the missile cavalry back. Let's get this guy from Croton. Let's go over to Tarentum. Take it. Exterminate them. Because that's what happens when you get bribed. And there we go. It's ours again. Very odd. The Julii. They have an army up there. But they decided to bribe with no army around. So we could just go straight back and take it. And we have a general in there now, so it should be hard for them to take it off of us. But yeah, very odd. We need some peasants. And we need to construct um, probably a public bath for happiness purposes. So the Judah just wasted a ton of money, basically. Settlement besieged. Uh, yes, we are. We know this. Basically, yeah, nobody's happy. And yeah, public order is a huge issue. Worthy life ends of Philippos Philometor over in Colchis. Oh, right, whatever. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, you step inside Kotes, and in fact, you are a spy, you can be heading probably just head up north. I don't know, just keep an eye on the Armenians. Uh, various construction, recruitment, ceasefire between Germania and Rome, that will not last for long. And the Romans are still there, right. Surely, surely we have enough money now to bribe Captain Herius. It's just he's being stubborn, I think. He's not going to be bribed. He's not going to be bribed. Okay. Well, we still have this ship. The ship can just make it over. Meaning we could form a big army. It could just make it over to Rome, incidentally. But what what is the force of Captain Harris? We can't... It's okay. It's Astarte, Principes, Sam Knights, some siege equipment, Legionary First... It's a hodgepodge of a, an army. Uh, this boat ready. could just about make it to Rome as well, meaning we could have a decent She's force ready. that is ready to attack Rome and draw Lentulus away from Capua, meaning we can attack it. Although, in fact, Capua is, is quite a bit stronger now, which is a shame. I think that's got to be the plan. While he's over there, take advantage of that fact and go for Rome. So... Step right. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna save it just in case I mess up the movement points. Right, move over here. You'll be you've been dropped off. You join. Right, get this navy out of the way just quickly so I don't click on the wrong thing. Join him on the mainland. Can you quite do that? Yeah, I think he did. Here we go. A priest at Eurgetes plus plus um Sam Knight mercenaries, which are gonna be needed because we don't have a front line. This is now a force big enough to attack Captain Herius. Once we do that, Rome is relatively undefended. It's still Rome, though. It's not going to be easy to take. This will probably draw, draw Lentulus Maxentius back to Rome, but that's not a problem. So this army is going to attack Captain Herius next turn. This navy probably needs to head back because it's going to be transporting more troops over, I'm sure, at some point. This navy, though, can hang around, merge the troops, stay here. Okay. Now this guy, what's he going to do? Well, there's not a lot he can do, because, yeah, because Lentulus Maxentius is here. I want him to be out of the range of Maxentius, preferably, which he is. Just move here, out of the range, start sneaking towards Rome if you can. Unfortunately, there's massive volcanoes, so we probably can't do that. But yeah, just, just stay there for the moment. Now, unhappiness is rife over here. Yep, oh my goodness, it literally is. 
So Tarsus, you are now the capital of the Egyptian Empire. It changes every turn. So enjoy it for six months because you're never probably going to have it again. Still public order issues, even in Tarsus, even in Sardis, even in Pergamon. Okay. <sighs> right. Change the Halicarnassus again. So yeah, that wasn't very long, Tarsus. There we go. These guys are now happy. Tarsus still, Tarsus is always unhappy. Always, always, always unhappy. They're about to get their public baths, repair that, the temple. Oh, flipping hell. I mean, this really is trouble over here. Merge these guys up. Oh, flip. Merge. Merge. Yep, yeah, there we go. Um, not Tarsus, sorry, not Antioch. And then more peasants, just please turn blue, turn blue happiness. Nope, they're still going to be unhappy. Meaning we need to get troops over from Antioch. Merge them up, incidentally. Please merge. There we go. Science. We need to move troops over from Antioch. Until... Right, move troops over from Mazakar. Oh, this is public order. is the most frustrating thing in the game sometimes. Right, they can't move over because there's an army in the way. Now Antioch's going to be unhappy, incidentally, isn't it? Yep. And Tarsus is still unhappy. Great. What a great place Tarsus is. And they it's full of peasants... Yet they're still unhappy. Right. 33, head back to Antioch. You get inside Tarsus. Tarsus is still unhappy. I don't know if there's anything we can do. I'll work it out in a second, but Tarsus is really unhappy. So is Antioch now. I've just made the situation worse. Repair all these buildings, which you keep demolishing. And get the temple in. I'm going to try and sort this out for a minute, and I'll come back to you. Right, I've spent a huge amount of money, and still, Campus Delaney is unhappy, and Tarsus is unhappy, and Antioch. So, I'm just going to have to hope none of them turn rebels. It's going to be really frustrating if they do. Other than that, there isn't anything we can do. Let's just move the turn on, but let's hope nobody um, turns against us, because that's not going to be ideal. Okay. Let's see if anyone turns rebel or not, and let's see what the Roman... Lentilus got drawn... No, he didn't. Captain Herius got drawn over. Now, they reckon we are at a massive disadvantage, and we probably are, to be fair. Solid Roman units <laughs> against whatever this is. I mean, we have not even as many men as they do. But, I'm not... Look, we can't win it, but can we do a job? I don't know. Can we do a job against them? Can we get some hits on them? Because we have skirmishers. I'll see what I can do. But it, I don't know, to be honest. Right, we are in defence mode. There is, there is a farm, incidentally. There is a farm, as always. But no, not interested. Because we're going to be skirmishing. We are not going to be standing our ground. Sam Knights probably aren't going to be able to do a lot. They can stay here. The Bedwins and the cavalry are going to work as a, as a single unit. And then everyone else is on skirmish mode, run, and they'll do whatever I tell them to. There we go. There is the Senatorial Army. It's a backup army. It's a reserve army. It's nothing special, but we really don't have anything at all. These guys are all going to be skirmishing. Sam Knights, I don't think you're going to be able to do a lot. Back off a little bit for the moment. And then this cavalry, just stay where you are for a second. Let's move forward. They're quite a way away. It's only lagging because I'm on fast speed. But everyone's going to move back in a second. I don't think, we, I don't think this is going to end well. Right. What we need to do because they're causing trouble with their onagers. We need to move our cavalry around the side. Because they're going to start getting hits on us. And if they get a hit on our general or something, not going to be good. Hopefully they'll get a few hits on their own men. They're very inaccurate at the moment. So get around the side here as quickly as you can. There's no time to lose. Run, run. Don't get caught up in a tree, lads. Not the time to get caught up in a tree. Run over here. That's it. Now, attack those onagers. Attack those onagers. Attack the onagers. Right, stop. Attack the onagers. I'm getting really annoyed. I didn't tell you to do that. Run and attack the onagers. They're not... It's because they're going to attack the nearest thing because they don't know the specific target. Run over there. Don't get involved in the Sam Knight Gladiators. That's not what I told you to do. Don't get involved in those Sam Knight gladiators. Come on. Come on, outrun them. Your cavalry. You should be able to run. Didn't tell you to do that. Get out of there. Please get out of there. Get on those onagers. On the onagers. Run. Run. Not what I told you to do. The generals of all people. Okay, they just hit a load of their own men. 
please do what you're told for once. This one, I'm, I'm actually getting triggered. I'm getting triggered. Please, right, you. I'm getting really triggered. Hit those guys, not anyone else. You hit those guys. And you, who are you? You are arch auxiliates. Don't hit the arch auxiliates. Tell the people I tell you to hit, please. Thank you, thank you. Do what you're told. Do what you're told. The missile troops are starting to lose. I'm not even... I don't even know what's going on with the missile troops. Right, they're going to go down very quickly. And they're not going to recover. Good. Now, how are the missile troops doing? Pause. How's it going so far? We've killed a lot more of them than us. Right, how's the skirmishing going, lads? Not very well, I imagine. Because you're pretty incompetent. Where are these Sam Knights? The Sam Knights are fighting something. What are they fighting? They are fighting Triarii. Should be better than Triarii, and there's a lot less of them, so you, you carry on doing that. As for everyone else, yeah, you're going to suffer, I think. You're going to suffer. We now need the heavy cavalry to start doing some business. For example, Sam Knight Gladiators, maybe. Maybe let's get those repeating ballistas down, that would be nice. So get rid of all those onagers. Now let's get the repeating ballistas down. Ignore the Sam Knight Gladiators, because it's not what I told you to do, is it? Is it? The, the Bedouins are going to die. Yeah, the Bedouins are going to die. Well, uh, I don't really care. Let's get those. Uh, uh, let's get those guys down. Prinkapes on the loose as well. Let's get those repeating ballistas down. Down. Come on. They're fighting well. They're fighting strong. They're ballistas. They're artillery. How are they doing this? How are the artillery still alive? I don't know. Against two Egyptian generals, how are the artillery still alive? They're down. Run. Run. Please run. I hate it when he doesn't do it. They're told. Right, come on. Okay. Everyone's skirmishing. Some knights have fallen. Some units have fallen. The ones that get caught up in the battle. Yeah, they fall, unfortunately. There's Legionary First Cohort. They're a strong unit. There's Astarte. They're shaken. Let's get the Astarte down. In fact, we could get a really good charge in the first cohort, though. But the first cohort are strong. Very, very strong units. A few units are down. The Bedouins are down completely. First cohort are going after these Libyans, who should be just skirmishing, even though they haven't got at, um, any arrows or javelins or whatever they use. Let's get these Astarte down. Starty are running away, they know what's good for them at least. A few units are going down. Starty are broken, good. Let's get a nice bit of a Starty down. Legionary first cohort are strong. Starty are down to 9, 6, 5, okay, good enough. I don't think we can win this, but you never know. We've killed 40% of them. I'd rather some troops back off, like, let's be honest, like, what's going on over here? Triarii are fighting Libyan mercenaries, fine, fine. There's very few of them, that's fine. I mean, to be fair, there's not many left, but that Legionary First Cohort is strong. It's a strong unit. Right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do something crazy. Is I'm going to get you, right, what I want. I want you guys, not you, I want you two. Hit the back of the Legionary First Cohort. You guys are going to hit the front. All at the same time. So, generals should be running, but they're not. Run. That's it. Get in, the, get in the rear of the cohort. Get in the rear of the cohort. I know your missile troops. You're going to have to deal with it. Try and get as many of them down as possible. Surround them. You guys need to run. This is going to take, we're going to take losses from this, but they are wavering. These camels, the damn camels need to be faster. There we go, they're broken. We broke the legionary first cohort. That's big news. Good. Come over here, they're now down. Let's get, let's, let's get, the, let's get them down to the final man. Right, good. Good stuff. Let's see if we can do the same to the Sam Knights. Okay, they're... Right, Sam Knights are going to get caught up, so let's fight them. 
Yeah, come on. Libyans. Libyans can do a decent job in the melee. They're actually underrated as a melee force. Okay, they just broke. You guys need to run! I don't get it. I pressed the button right. Maybe my mouse is messed up. I'll blame it on that. Why not? Right, you're not doing what you're told. I'm pretty sure that's not the direction I told you to run in. These guys are going to get absolute swarms. They shouldn't last for long. But they are because they're going to be gladiators. So they're tough units. They're eager and they're literally being attacked from all sides. You, I don't know what you're doing because I didn't tell you to do that. Oh my goodness, I thought the general was in there. Run! I'm getting really frustrated. Please run. I know you're tired. These guys are all going to die because the generals didn't do what they were told. They chased them. They've done what they were chasing. These guys are all going to die and they're all going to rout for no reason. There we go. Broken the Sam Knights, finally at least. Arch Auxilia. Right, a couple of units routed there, and that's because the incompetence of the general, one of them's dead in fact. Which one's dead? Oh, they're probably both dead. Let's get on the Arch Auxilia. Everything over here that's not routing, basically nothing. How many, how many kills we actually got? We've got 65% of them down. Unfortunately, it's not going to be enough. But still, it's a big senatorial army that we're going to take down, to be fair. All of you guys, everyone on the Arch Auxilia, get them down. There we go, you're not meant to be fighting. I can't believe we've sacrificed the general as well. Are you not running? Are you just not going to run now? Are you just not going to run, generals? Because th that you need to run into the Arch Auxilia and kill them. I don't care there's only 19 of you. They're broken. Get the Arch Auxilia down. There's a few Sam Knights who are still impetuous. Get as many of the Arch Auxilia down. My lads are tired. They're tired as hell. What have we even got left? What have we even got left? Where are you on the battlefield? You are all the way over here. So you guys are in pretty, two pretty decent units. Uh, we have 64 Prinkipes. We have a couple of decent units there though. Right, run over to those Samnite gladiators and hit them. One of the generals is down. Yeah, we know this. Right, Arch Auxilia is down. Get on those Samnites. You, stupid camels, come over. Get on those Samnites as well. Samnites are steady now, not impetuous. They're going to go down pretty quickly, I hope. Possibly might lose two generals. We can't afford to lose two generals here. Samnite gladiators will fight until the day is done. Where were those guys I sent running over? Here they are. Right. Prinkipes are very tired. Right, this general's down to four men, so we might have to back off soon. I can't afford to lose him as well. Let's get on those Samnites. Not you. Not you. Get back. Come on, let's get those Sam Knights down at least. You as well, whoever you are, come on over and help. Now, unfortunately, the Bedouins got in first. These guys are not even running when they should be. You four men get that one Sam Knight gladiator down. There we go. Swarm him. Swarm him. Blimey. Okay, come on. Come on, get in the rear. Get in the rear before they break. I mean, we have sacrificed a huge amount of men here today against one of the smaller senatorial armies. Sam Knight gladiators are fighting. They're fighting like hell. And they're, bre they're breaking all the units. Yep, they broke everyone. And they broke every single last man. And I think we've lost this now because, well, we just didn't have the frontline infantry. Who are you? Why have you not got involved at all the whole time? Well, come over here at least. Just do something. Oh, uh, there's nothing you can do. R withdraw, withdraw. Don't lose you as well. Who are you? Yeah, withdraw. We could have done with you guys earlier, but whatever. You decided to run off. Withdraw. That's fine. You as withdraw as well. Look, you know, we don't want to lose too many troops. We have killed a lot of them, though. We've killed a lot of them, but we unfortunately are going to have to back off. But yeah. Rome is very undefended at the moment. Unless Lentulus Maxentius gets back... They're going to be in a bit of trouble. So let's hope. First of all, let's hope we don't lose too many more men. As we're routing. We've, we've lost a lot of men. That was a big, big battle. It was a bloody battle. 
in which both sides took a lot of losses. But there you go, that happens sometimes. Bedwins are trying to get away. Make sure you don't die, there we go. Okay, well, we lost. We could have won it, but we just... Probably one more unit of heavy infantry would have done it. We got more kills than them. But we are, we've backed off from Rome, which is not good. Because it means they're going to be able to recover. We can't recover until there's more mercenaries, so we've backed off. But Rome is looking... Look how vulnerable Rome looks. Incredibly vulnerable. Okay. Trentum got bribed again. Did it now. Suitable husband. You know what? I'll take whatever general I can at the moment. Where are you, in fact? Where are you? This new general. Over in Turkey? Right? Didn't even know there were three generals in Turkey. Probably could have used them earlier. First of all, let's see Trentum. The big Julii army is not there. Oh, but the general inside there got bribed. No. He's in that damned... Oh, what a useless... Orders? The one general got bribed, didn't he? Come over here. Who's inside to rent... Oh, it's that one general, I know it is. Oh, for God's sake. Right. You guys, I want you to go towards Rome. Lentulus Maxentius, is he there? Captain Herius. They've spawned a new general out of nowhere. Ah, oh, flip. Right. You're going to have to head back towards Tarentum and retake it off that general that got bribed. This diplomat is annoying me. We need to get rid of him. We genuinely need to get rid of him. You head back towards Croton. We'll sort out the public order there in a minute. This episode has been stressful. Really stressful. Really. Uh, my god. Okay. Right. You, diplomat, the most useful thing you can do now is get rid of that damn Julii diplomat. That's all I care about. Now, there are some men back on the ship. Where did they flee? There we go. They fled over here. Merged them all up. You can't. Fine. I mean, we we could just go for another attack on Herius. Let's land on the shores of Rome again. Here we are. Aprisiurgites. Not a good force, though. It's not a good force. And, oh, we should have got a diplomat to bribe some people. Right. Ah, oh, flip. We need a diplomat as well. Really. Arrive over here. There's no... There's no diplomats anywhere. Probably need one of these generals up north. Step... Right, step here. You destroy that Skippy I Navy because they're annoying me. Boat, come round here. Aye, my lord. General, my get general. onto boat. Boat, go sire. towards Capua. To general, get off boat. There yes, we go. Incidentally, this let's put a watchtower there. Sire. Right, okay. Things are going a bit wrong all of a sudden. Right when I thought it was going to go well. Sire. This guy, there's probably not a lot of point attacking Rome or attacking Herius. But let's go for it. Let's just go for it. See what we can do. Build two ladders. Rome. Rome is under attack. In fact, build three ladders. In fact, build as many ladders as possible. Okay. Right. Let's just look at what's going on in the Middle East first and up here. Campus Alani, people are still unhappy. Lads, you're going to have to start dealing with it. You're going to have to start dealing with it. Parthia... We don't know what's going on there. There was an army round here. We need to get this spy up north to see what the Parthians are doing. I serve your will. Unseen, There's a whoa, big Those Armenian army. Didn't see them. Warad's in of Gorne, out of nowhere. And it's annoying because we need to get over to Campus Sarmatian to kill the Armenians off. And there's this big guy over here, the new faction leader, young lad. Right, what we're going to have to do, get the cavalry, all the generals apart from one, get all the cavalry, and these guys are going to have to run towards, really, run towards Sarmatia, or the Sarmatian lands, whatever you want to call it. Put this place under siege, if you can ever, come on, come on, there we go. No more move, sire. Campus Alani, oh, they're actually happy now the general's gone at least. Get some good walls in. Get some good walls in. That's priority. 
recruit some peasants, retrain the peasants. Okay. Wow, this has got really, really tough all of a sudden. I mean, really tough out of nowhere. We can't do anything here. We can't do anything with Trentum at the moment. We are going towards Trentum. We have bribed twice. That damn diplomat needs to go down. We need to get that diplomat down. I don't think there's anything more we can do. We need to move the capital back to Syracuse because of unhappiness. Very frustrating how things have worked out. That the, the Julia have been so successful. Byzantium fell to the Brutii. I'm going to end the turn one more time. We'll see what we can do. But this episode hasn't gone brilliantly. It hasn't gone brilliantly at all. We haven't. We've, we've only taken one settlement, and we've lost Trenton, which was a big one. The, the diplomat is is doing exactly what we've done. End the turn. Okay. How do? The Romans respond. The Romans sally forth outside of Rome. But Captain Herius, incidentally, is not involved. Captain Numerius, right. Two units. There's only two units. If we win this battle, we take Rome. We take Rome if we win this battle. Wow, okay. I think we're going to do that next time. We're going to do that next time. Theoretically, next episode, we could take Rome. Now, we have more men, but they have the vastly, vastly superior men. This is it's going to be one of the toughest battles, but honestly, if we win it, it's just going to be legendary. Legendary, legendary stuff. Let's, right, we'll, we'll end the episode on that note, with the fact that they have decided to sally forth, possibly to their own detriment. Possibly to their own detriment. We're going to take a huge amount of losses, but we could potentially take Rome, and that would be absolutely huge. So that will be next time, part 24, we could take Rome. What a way to end this episode on. As for the rest of it, well, it's not gone brilliantly, this episode. We've had a lot of trouble with public order, with rioting, with bribery, with new Armenian forces coming out of nowhere. But if we take Rome, it's a massive step forward in the right direction. So that will be next time. We've drawn Lentus, Maxentius away. Capua, unfortunately, we couldn't take. But we could have the biggest fight of our lives. Biggest fight in the series next time. So yeah, we'll end it. We'll end it on that note. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you around.